Hello everybody, I am Rohit Kumbhar and welcome back to another episode of Learn Lightroom Mobile. In this tutorial, we are basically focusing on the color section of the mobile Lightroom. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now I have already done some basic retouching in the light section. If you don't know how to use the light section, I have a separate video on that. Do check in the description down below. Now in the color panel, you can see the different options like temperature, tint, vibrance and saturation. Temperature and tint is the subset of the white balance. Now what exactly is the white balance? Now white balance is the process of removing the unrealistic color cast so that the objects which appears white in person are rendered white in your photo. Now the proper white balance has to take into account the color temperature of light source which refers to the relative warmth and the coolness of the white light. Now if you see the color circle, the blue and the oranges are on the opposite side and the green and the magenta are on the opposite side. Now if we go from the blue to orange, we are actually increasing the temperature and if you go from the green to magenta, we are increasing the tint. Now if you have a relatively white or a grey part in your image, now what you can do is choose this picker and select that white or grey color. What it will do, it will consider that point as a reference and change the other colors accordingly. Now there are several presets of the white balance like tungsten, fluorescent, sunny, cloudy, flash, etc. Now these are nothing but the combination of the temperature and tint. Now let's talk about the saturation and the vibrance. Now what saturation will do is it will bump up the intensity of all colors in our image regardless of the starting point of the colors. Now this can result the clipping and the over saturation of the skin tone leaving them looking too orange or unnatural. Now the vibrance is a smart tool which cleverly increases the intensity of more muted colors and leaves the already well saturated colors alone. It's sort of like fill light but for colors. Vibrance also prevents the skin tone from becoming overly saturated and unnatural. That's why I suggest vibrance instead of saturation. Now if you want your image to look black and white, now very well you can do that in a single click. Just click the black and white icon here and it will do its job. Now let's head to the mix section. Now this is very important and interesting section of the colors. This will allow us to choose a color and increase its hue, saturation and the luminance independently. Now this is the magic button. Just click on this button and place over the any color in our image and just swipe up or swipe down. It will recognize that color and swiping up will increase its intensity and down will decrease it. So guys that's it for the color section. If you have any doubt about this section, please do me know in the comment section below. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Till then, keep enjoying your life.